Yeah, I'm glad that was a hundred dollars and not, you know, like a heart or something that would have been useful. <sighs> That's like the fifth time I've picked that up. And here's a life up. Okay. Did I mention that I hate the chapel? I think I might have said something about that. I might have. Just in passing. Oh yeah, you see this spike corridor? Uh, Alucard has tricks to get through it, and when you get all the way to the other side, there's a room where he uh, meets with Maria. But of course, Maria can't actually get through that room, so I have no idea what they're trying to convey here. I have no way to kill these guys. But if I don't kill them... Oh. Come on. Get up there. If you can get them off the screen, they despawn, which is very helpful. I was in this exact situation last time up against that guy with no hearts. Thank you for missing all of the enemies on the screen there, Dragon Buddy. Oh, very, very helpful. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm screwed again. Worst level ever. But I am committed to getting through it. funny because typically when I uh, start a new Let's Play, I don't usually, if it's a game I know well, like Symphony, I typically don't practice it. I need to farm hearts right here. I typically don't practice it very much. I just kind of plug it in and go. But with this Let's Play, I spent, I don't know, maybe 30 or 40 minutes trying to practice the chapel because I knew I was going to get to this part and have a lot of problems with it. And it just wasn't working. Just, you know what? I'm gonna have to just get lucky going through it. How many hearts do I need? I'm gonna say that's gonna be enough. Well, come on. Why can't I dash over those panthers? I can dash over everything else. Uh, yeah, this guy's got to die. And all his little sporlings. One thing that Maria and, and uh, Richter don't have to worry about are status ailments. Alucard's got to worry about monsters, you know, like turning him into stone or poisoning him or doing stupid stuff. Stop picking that up, Maria. Life up is down here. Okay. Now, take it slow. Kill all the archer guys with dragons. There we go. One down. They don't they will not respawn after they're dead. down here. Ah. But there's so many of them. And then they team up with those little imp guys. Alucard has just as many problems in this little shaft as uh, 
Maria does. Here's another archer. Takes six hearts to kill one of those jokers. Come on. Straight up. What are you doing? He's got a hold of me. Those little imp guys will grab onto you and make you use your weapon over and over and over while you're standing in place. Which is good if you're... Richter, you've got a weapon worth using. I'm almost out of hearts. I don't believe that. Ugh. Turtle would be handy right now because you can, it's not a great weapon, but the item crash version of it you can uh, use to refill your life. I don't know. This part's going to be really dull because I have to play it safe, which means I have to beat these Minotaurs. Which means I've got an item crash. Which means I've got to farm for hearts again when I go back down there. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. I'm going to put the uh, controller down for a second. I, you can't actually use a controller uh, playing this game. You've got to use your PSP, which... Eh... Not the best controller in the world, but... Okay. So, you know what? Screw farming for hearts. Let's see if I can just gun it. I'm gonna regret saying that, I know, but... Oh, good. More of these guys. More snipers. I hate imps, I hate snipers, and then they've got dudes up on the ceiling who are all kinds of annoying. Ignore him either. My dragon does not want to hit anything. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm screwed. Again. Thank goodness I used that save point right outside the two deadly ass minotaurs. This is my this is my penance for not having any trouble in the uh, in the clock tower. That's this is what's happening. It's like the game's like, okay, we're gonna throw you a bone in the uh, <clears throat> in the reverse clock tower, but in return, you have to give us blood in the reverse chapel. Well. Let's go ahead and get... Get hearts again. I think that should be enough. And that sword guy is no problem. Three more hearts. 
hearts. Okay. Alright, here we go again. Take... What take is this? This will conserve hearts a little bit if I can... Oh my goodness, those, that kills the snipers in one shot. Why haven't I been using that? Oh man, screw dragons in this area. No wonder I was having so many problems. See, remember when I said a while ago that I like to marry myself to one sub-weapon and kind of not use the other ones? Well, that's what happens when you do that, is you miss out on really what should be obvious strategies. Come on, imps. Okay, so yeah. And it's not even like it's some obscure sub-weapon. It's the sub-weapon that I always have on hand anyway. Good lord, Brick Road. Yeah, I knew there was a big heart here somewhere. Am I through? Is that it? Thank God. I just went to wipe the sweat off my forehead and scrape my thumb across the microphone, so if you just heard some crazy sound, that's what that was. Holmes. Okay, now. Uh, where's the next boss? Actually, the next boss should be, like, one room from here. In the, uh... Right in here. This is one of the cooler bosses in the game. One of the more original ones, Beelzebub. He's just this giant rotting corpse that's kind of hanging from the ceiling on meat hooks. That's awesome. Check that dude out. The problem is, like, the coolest parts of the boss, you can never see them because you've got to constantly be dodging these bugs. So... Yeah, giant bugs. And actually, it's been a while since I fought him, so... I think if I stand right here, I can just barely hit him, even though he's off-screen. Nope, no I can't. Ah. What was the trick to this guy? Hitting him with dragons does not seem to be working very well. What about up top here? I got eaten alive by giant flies. I'm missing something here. It feels like I beat this guy really, really easy the last couple times I did it. For some reason, it's not working well for me. But at least I'm saved, like, right there. I don't have to go through the whole chapel again. God, I hate the chapel. Both castles, both directions, it doesn't matter. The chapel is... so annoying. Even if you dash through a door, you still have to watch it open, the animation on it, though. I don't know why. Actually, I think I do remember the trick. The more of his body parts you destroy, the more flies there are. So if you just aim for the head straight off the bat, you have a lot fewer flies for double. Stop walking off the ledge and double jump properly! Oh, silly girl. 